everyone, today I'm doing something slightly different. Today I thought I would share with you some little snippets of my day. I wanted to take things super slow and do like a long get ready with me. Um, I wanted to plan out some little outfits for the week ahead. Probably spending a lot of time at home, so um, a lot of like really comfortable outfits. And also show you some self-care things I want to do at home to make home life a little bit more like comfortable and enjoyable. I hope you enjoy this little video and it helps you take your mind off all the stressful things that's happening um, lately. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly do a super easy makeup routine. I really don't wanna do anything too complicated today. I'm gonna use this Complexion Rescue Cream from Bare Minerals. Mine's in the shade Buttercream, if I forgot to mention that. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender to get that all in. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape, which is the best like full coverage creamy concealer. I really like this. I prefer it to pretty much everything else I've used, um, including a lot of like NARS concealers. I just find it super creamy, but super high coverage. Honestly, I'm pretty much wearing makeup because I'm gonna be doing some filming and things like that. Otherwise, I would not be wearing makeup at home. Still using the Innisfree Skinny Brow Pencil. I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, as well as this Muji Eyelash Curler. On my lips, I'm gonna put on this by Terry Balm de Rose um, Balm. This was from a little Christmas stocking stuffer. And actually, I kind of like it. I love the rose scent, it's very strong. So if you're sensitive to like scented lip products, this is not for you. It does feel quite hydrating on the lips and I like it. Also gives my lips a nice sheen. Gonna put on some hoop earrings. And then just gonna apply a little bit of powder. I don't know what happened to the order of this, but yeah, just a bit of powder. I wanted to very quickly show a few my thoughts on this Cezanne dress. Um, it looks gorgeous, but I've decided to send it back and I thought I would quickly share with you a little bit of a review why. Um, or else it kind of won't fit into any other video, but I, did want, I do want to talk about items that I receive and I don't like as well. So, um, this is one of them. I'll just quickly put it on and then I'll be able to show you a bit better. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like on. And I really do think it's very beautiful, if I can just show you a little bit closer. As you guys will all know, I adore like a wrap dress, so this is like right up my alley. The material is so beautiful and feminine, but honestly, it's just not a comfortable dress to wear. If you look at the material, it's actually 75% silk, but these little like metallic fibers are actually super uncomfortable on the skin. Um, the, the material itself is actually okay, but it's just these fibers that makes it quite scratchy. And then when you wear it, these little things on the side, they do kind of um, irritate my skin quite a bit. So I have decided to part ways with it because I just don't think it's a dress that I'll wear very often. It's really beautiful. I just love the colors, the pink and the green and that beautiful like gold sheen. I feel like in the sun, it will literally look like a fairy tale princess's dress. Um, I feel like when you move, it'll have that really lovely glow. However, it's just itchy. Um, like on the edges where the fabric meets my skin, it's especially bad. I think it's because you have a little bit of that metallic fabric um, poking through the lining. And then around the waistline where there's a belt, there must be like fabric touching the skin. Like it just doesn't feel comfortable. And yeah, it's a shame because it's really beautiful as a dress. Before I just quickly show you my actual outfit of the day, um, this is probably what I'll be wearing for the next week because I won't be going out that much. But this is the Cezanne knit. I actually can't remember what it's called, but um, it was from last fall. Um, and it's super thick and super comfortable. I love wearing it. And I just have on some Uniqlo jeans because they're stretchy and comfortable. And then if I have to go out, I'll have some slides on. But yeah, this is probably what I'll be wearing all week. I do still have to go into the office tomorrow, but um, if I am at home, I'll probably just be wearing this knit. Otherwise, I'll be wearing this one. 
So this is another one from Martin Bow. I'll just quickly chop it on to show you. I feel like I'm really drawn to chunky knits because for me they're just more comfortable and more warm. And because we're going into autumn here in Australia, it's starting to cool, cool down a little bit. So in the house, I definitely feel like I want to wear a sweater. If you guys want to see how I tuck sweaters, I just usually pinch it up a little bit and then I just tuck like one corner in so it doesn't get too like bulky at the denim, at the jeans. This is such a fluffy cozy knit. Actually, you know what? I might just wear this today. Um, it's super comfortable. It is 53% wool, 17% alpaca, 30% polyamide. So it's not bad and it's just super cozy. I don't know if anyone else can relate but I just kind of want to look human and just feel like life is like normal again. So this is kind of like my way of feeling normal um, and just getting dressed even though I'm spending the day at home. I only reorganize parts of my wardrobe so um, I've added this little thing from Ikea in. Like I don't feel like this was meant to hold like heavy sweaters but what I've done is that I've folded all my sweaters and put it in this section. It's starting to get a little bit messy but for the most part it's okay and I kind of like having that there. And I've also added these two Muji cubes at the bottom just to maximize storage space. Um, otherwise, the only other thing that I've been doing is I've had a pile of clothes here which are all the clothes I'm about to sell and then the rest of it is in that white bag. And if you're interested in anything, it's all on Depop. But that's kind of the clothes that I'm getting rid of. But otherwise, I do feel like this wardrobe is fairly tidy. There's obviously um, a lot of bags up there that's a mess and I'm storing a couple of things for my mum. So that's why it's a bit messy up there. But I just thought I would do a quick tidy up um, of this little space. I've just sold these two things so I've taken them out. One of them is this faithful little dress um, which I'll be shipping off um, sometime in the next couple of days. And then I've also sold this um, Everlane MAC coat because I recently got the drape trench and I, I do feel like having three is too much and I much prefer like the longer line style. So I have decided to part ways with these two pieces. Drive me everywhere. Oh, he's there when I look back. You had to do it all alone. Make a living, make a home. Must have been as hard as it could be. If you guys are looking to do some like yoga on YouTube, I would highly recommend the channel Yoga by Adrian. I've been following her for years and I find her videos very like realistic. She has a lot of routines you can do if you have like 10 minutes, if you have 30 minutes. Um, so you don't always have to do like a full yoga session which I find to be really good if you're getting started or if you're just not much of a exercise person like me. So. I highly recommend that. I'll have it in the description box below. Um, otherwise, if you're curious about this, like these tights and the and the sports shirt, they're all from Uniqlo. They're great. They're simple. I think they're affordable. And I'm not about spending tons of money on workout wear, so they just work really well and they're, yeah, comfortable. Lastly, in this vlog, I wanted to quickly show you some books that I'm reading um, to get myself through, you know, staying at home all the time. But I've noticed in the last couple of years, I've just definitely stopped reading any spare time. I've kind of been on YouTube and you know creating content and things like that. So I have wanting, I have been wanting to get back to it, and I thought, what better time than now? Um, I recently started watching Outlander on Netflix, so I decided to get the first book. 
or the first wall book because it came in like a set and I've just started to read it. I've read like a chapter or something um, and so far I'm loving it. I really like the series so I will let you guys know what I think of it once I've read the books. And then I also have two other books here. I have The Fountains of Silence which I recently got. So this book is set in Madrid in 1957 and it's about a Daniel who's young, wealthy and unsure of his place in the world and views the city through the lens of his camera. And then you also have Anna who's a hotel maid whose family is suffering under the fascist dictatorship of General Franco. I did a year's well paper on like um, Spanish Civil War and like what happened in, in the years after. So I'm super excited to read this. The next book is The German Girl which is set in World War II. And then you have another storyline in 2014 and I imagine you, it's gonna go back and forth and like interweave. I think I'm gonna finish off my vlog here and then go run a bath. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I will still be having fashion content on all my platforms, on Instagram, on the blog, as well as here on YouTube. But you might notice a few lifestyle things woven into it. I will have a whole video coming up either on Thursday or on Sunday featuring a few sustainable brands that I've discovered recently. And otherwise, I hope you guys are staying healthy and taking extra care of yourselves. I will see you guys in a few days. Bye!